Man, I should have worn this for the Valentine's Day episode. Dang. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bar School. I'm Bo Robinson. You want to order a cocktail that's going to impress your family, your friends, and even your bartender? Get a Manhattan. It's a drink for a man. We've got bourbon. We can make Manhattans. Okay, wow. It's trippy. The Manhattan's been around for a long time, since the 1800s. But the origins of it aren't quite so clear. You see, there's two stories, and neither one of them makes sense. Our first unlikely story starts with Jenny Jerome, a.k.a. Lady Randolph Churchill, who was throwing a party for the then presidential candidate, Samuel J. Tilden. Now lucky for both of them, the guy that got the real party started was Dr. Ian Marshall. The doctor started whipping up cocktails and created a cocktail with two parts rye whiskey, one part sweet vermouth, and a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. The cocktail was a huge success, so much that after the party, people around town would order the cocktail by referencing the club's name, the Manhattan. Now, where the story falls flat is the rumor has it that Lady Randolph Churchill was off in England giving birth to her first son, Winston Churchill, the future Prime Minister of England. Our second unlikely but most widely accepted story comes from William F. Mulhall, a bartender at the Hoffman House for over 30 years, who wrote a story in the 1880s claiming that the Manhattan was invented by a man named Black, who kept a place 10 doors below Houston Street off of Broadway in the 1860s. Hmm. If that were true, why didn't we hear about the Manhattan until the 1880s? Riddle me that, Mohal! And while you all ponder that, I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite rendition of the Manhattan. Grab your mixing glass and fill it with ice. Pour in two and a quarter ounces of rye whiskey. Three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth and three dashes of Angostura bitters. And by now you should know, but stir this cocktail 40 times to yield about an ounce of water. Grab your botini glass. Strain this cocktail right into your glass. And lastly, garnish this cocktail with a Luxardo cherry. And I stress Luxardos because they're the best. Drop it right into the bottom of the glass. And that's the Manhattan. A drink that has been known to turn boys into men. Increase chest hair production and give your voice that much needed girth it deserves. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Bar School. I'm Bo Robinson, and do me a favor. If you're on YouTube, subscribe already. And if you're on Facebook, go to YouTube, type in Bar School in the search bar with a K, and subscribe for me. I need the followers. Other than that, drink on! It's Friday!